hello and assalamu alaikum everyone in this video i will be showing you guys how we can do quantity and cost estimation using panswift software first off i will tell you guys how we can set up a new job this is the home page of our software under the home tab we click on new here it asks us to enter any job number i would give it 250 square yard since the plan I will be sharing you a proper 250 square yard house and you can give any description estimating finishing works I, I will leave these on default go next asking us to select our drawing I am selecting this PDF file this software can allow PDF files, CAD drawings and even the JPG files to be imported in the software. Now it will convert this PDF file to TIF file which is the file type of the software. Since I will be showing you guys how we can do quantity estimation and how to use these commands. So I would only be working on this one plan. So in order to ease up my working space, I would crop this part of ground floor so that I can work on it independently. I will name it ground floor, press enter, here it is. Now first off, we go to settings under the general tab. We check the default currency. It is set to dollar. Since we are in Pakistan, I will be selecting rupees. Go back to home. Now, before starting any sort of estimation, we need to do scaling of our drawing. Select scale. I know that the width of this plot is 30 feet and the length is 75 feet 2 inches. I would scale it 30 feet and tell it. Tell the software where is 30 feet. Horizontal scaling is done. Now it's time for vertical scaling. 75 feet and 2 inches. Also press the M button on our keyboard for magnifying so that we can pinpoint the exact point on the triangle. Our vertical and horizontal scaling is done. After scaling, we can start with our estimation. For estimation, I'll be telling you guys how we can use the area, linear, and count commands. Okay, since it is uh, this software can estimate everything that is included in our construction project from from bricks to concrete, to rebars, to all the finishing items, tiles and the paint job, the number of items, the fans, marble work, even the water closets, tub, doors, windows, it can do everything. But for now I'll be only doing the tile work and the paint job and the, the greater number of items. So in order to get the number of tiles, I need to know the area of this plan. So okay, to calculate the area, I'll be using this area command and I will name it bedroom tiles. Blue color, I will go to the advanced and under this cost each, I will give it cost 250 rupees per square foot. Unit is set. We'll check these two boxes and okay. Now it's asking me to mark the area where we have to put the tiles. software is very handy and saves a lot of time as compared to doing calculations manually now I'll press the right mouse button and stop this uh, the area for room is selected it 
tells us that it's a 245.5 square feet room. This is for the room and, and now I need to know the area for this TV lounge, the drawing room, dining room and the kitchen to apply tiles over here as well. Now if I use this same area command, I will have to go on each corner and click on each corner. Now to further save my time, I will go in this drop down menu and select single click area. Give it tiles for lounge. like this under advanced I would be giving it the same cost 50 rupees per square foot check these two boxes okay now we'll click anywhere on this part where I want the tiles this amazing software detects the area itself here we can see I also want tiles in here over here it did not place tiles over here automatically because there's a line running through I'll press the control button and click over here as well this part is selected in this part I'll press the right mouse button and stop here you can see just by one click I, I, I now know the area of this entire plan it's a 6 m 2.2 square feet area. We're done with area. Now we'll be moving to the linear linear command. This linear command is basically for calculating the length of the walls. Why do I need that? Because I need to know the area on, on which I would be painting. So this linear function is not enough. I will be modifying it select linear and let's say I want to paint the boundary wall go to advanced I'll give it a cost of 25 rupees per square foot but this linear function calculates feet I will change the unit to square feet and over here I will enter a formula that I will copy from here the linear total multiplied by the wall height and multiplied by the number of wall sides wall height for the boundary wall I'm giving it 5 feet I will copy right click and copy this formula and paste it over here I have given the wall height over here and now when I will uh, calculate the linear distance from our map from our plan it will have all the values for this formula for the number of sides I am keeping it one it is for and if I enter two it would calculate it would basically multiply by the area by two uh, considering that the uh, considering the both sides of the wall to be painted but I'm giving it as one checking these two boxes okay so here is the boundary wall Painting the internal sides only, the external sides won't be painted since the wall, this wall will be shared by the adjacent house. Right click and stop. Now the linear feet is known and that linear feet is multiplied by the 5 feet height. So the total area of this boundary wall is 742 square feet. 742 square feet multiplied by 25 rupees for each square foot will give us the total cost of painting the boundary wall which gives us 18,551 okay. now I will be moving to the count command for counting the number of items over here we have count I would like to count the number of fans and the cost for each fan would be 6000 rupees check these two boxes and ok but I will change the symbol of the fan 
and spell so I will go again enter fan over here I deleted the previous one because I wanted to change this shape of the fan instead of circle go with the plus sign click once enter the cost again 6000 check these two boxes then ok now we have a fan over here in the middle of this room click over here and we have fan over here in the lounge fan in the dining room and in the two fans marking these two fans now the middle one is for the chandelier right click and stop so in a similar fashion by using the count command we can calculate any item the number of doors the number of windows uh, the number of sinks in the washrooms used the number of water closets anything i have done all this work on a similar plan i will show you guys that to save our time in order to not to make this video too long i'll go to this open for opening the previous jobs i worked on we'll open this 10 marla estimate for finishing open job okay here you can see i have marked everything I wish to have an estimate of even the external area, the veranda, the porch, the back alley for applying marbles over there. Marble, and I've also checked this, selected the staircase. I would I wish to place granite over here. So for every item, I have entered there their respective cost be it in square feet or each item or the linear feet here you can see I've also marked the tub and the ventilation the sink the doors are marked the windows are marked even the AC AC points are marked or even also the main gate and the, and the paint of the external wall and the internal wall paint I will go to estimating Labs on over here you can see I have made these uh, folders by clicking on this folder command to categorize and sort out my items in a better way uh, if we open marble and tiles all the areas where I have placed marble and tiles I have organized them over here on the staircase kitchen countertops kitchen walls and floor and similarly on the bathroom walls and floor and as well as on the entire plan of floor floor plan of the house in similar fashion I've done with the kitchen accessories bathroom accessories I have given electrical items as you point sockets fan so now if I expand all you can see all the things I have estimated for I've given each of them a price and it has this software has updated the total cost it gives us around 1.5 million now our two tasks are completed first two now the integrating to microsoft excel is left i will show you how we can do that if you click on export to excel this will take some time and then after some time it will open our file this will be automatically exported to excel this is how Excel would look like. It has placed the folders over here, marble and tiles, and the respective items under it, then bathroom accessories, kitchen accessories. Now we need to integrate it with Plan Swift. You, as you can see, it is a Plan Swift is coming over here. We need to connect it. As it is connected now, now whatever function we perform over here, we can it would be automatically done on our software as well. A right click over here or even select uh, items over here now if I want to do a count I count let's say of the chandelier give it a different color let's say um, this pink chandelier would cost 25,000 rupees chandelier check these two now I'll move to our home Oh yeah, click. It's asking to click the point where the chandelier is placed over here. 
and let's uh, okay right click and stop one chandelier it is added over here or in under our estimating command so I did all this just by working in the Excel over here it is showing one for the chandelier so the Excel is integrated with our PlanSwift software I hope you guys understood the working of PlanSwift software how it is so amazing in estimating the quantity and the cost as compared to doing it manually it has also reduced the risk of risk of any sort of errors which could have come by manually calculating it so thank you so much guys take care bye bye please